If you're a new subscriber to this channel, if you're watching this review, you get a chance to win this. This is a DJI FPV drone that I paid $1,500 for with my own money. I'm also going to throw in two batteries, a controller and the case, and you will win this for free. No shipping charge at all. You don't have to send me any money. So if anybody is imposing to be Drone Camps RC on my channel, making a comment saying you won this DJI FPV drone, they're lying. So don't reply to anybody, don't send any money online. It is a 100% free giveaway. This is gonna be shipped to your door by me. So one lucky subscriber in the next 100,000 subscribers will win a DJI FPV drone. Now, let's get back to the program. Now, I know that you guys like cheap, and here we are on the channel again with another cheap as crapola FPV drone. Darwin FPV, the box is down here. I threw it earlier because I was trying to make a point, but I have to re-record this video because um, I wanted to, you know, drive home cheap fun on the channel and, you know, it's not like you're flying like a DJI FPV drone, right? The DJI drone behind me cost me $1,500 and I'm giving it away to, to, to one of you guys. So um, don't worry about it. DJI FPV drone, if you can't afford it, who cares? fly a Darwin FPV drone with a pair of analog goggles and you're gonna have just as much fun. But it's, in a way, I feel like this is more fun because I'm not worried about hitting a tree or you know hitting one of the pieces of patio furniture, slamming right into a piece of wood. I've done that with these type of drones and you can pick them up. Sometimes you have like a little bent prop, that's it. So brand new guys getting into the hobby, try to avoid flying something like this, buy something like this and just have fun because you know, I mean, riding your $8,000 carbon frame mountain bike down the mountain and breaking the frame, it's a little more stressful than riding like your, your you know, mongoose or something like that. Um, so yeah, quality difference for sure. But this will outperform this when it comes to freestyle. Cinema, probably not. But this is more of a cinema beast. Uh, potato, if you will. <laughs> French fries, <laughs> tater tots. Somebody say tater, tater tots. Um, yeah, baby eight pro, pro version guys. Pere oh, 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 pro, cheap pro, whatever, cheap. Here we go, let's go outside and do some flying and uh, yeah, let's have some fun without worrying about, oh shit, dropping it or breaking it. Cheap fun, here we go.
pretty cool. What do you think? Give a thumbs up? Should we give this one a thumbs up? Pretty cool drone. All right. Baby ape. This is called the baby ape. Did you know that? The baby. The baby ape. The baby, you guys. Thanks for watching our flight test. Cool? What do you think, Ian? Thumbs up? Thumbs up. All right, let's go back to the bench. All right, my friends, welcome back from the flight test. That was fun. This quad flies good. And what's the big difference between the Pro and the original Baby Ape? Uh, about $10, actually. Um, $79 or $80 for the Baby Ape and $91.99 for the Baby Ape Pro. Okay, 12 bucks. Okay, 12 bucks difference. What's the difference? Well, this one has a better camera. The original Baby Ape had the Darwin FPV 700 TVL camera, and that one's okay. Um, but the newer Pro version, for a little bit more money, you're gonna get a nicer camera on there. You're getting the Cadex Ant camera on that one. And uh, some people like the Cadex Ant, some people don't, but I, I think the Cadex Ant is better than the one they had on there uh, before. Now, this tiny ape actually comes with a run cam, which I think is great. So we'll just put that one on the scale. That was 73 grams, and this one's really, not much lighter, 57 grams on that one with a 3S450 battery. It's the native battery that flies with the Tiny Ape, looking at 100 grams with an Insta360 Go 2 and that little kind of mount that comes with it, 142. So it's still under 150 grams, which is freaking cool for this one. Um, this one's more expensive than the Baby Ape Pro. Baby Ape Pro, 74 grams with the 3S450, you're looking at 119 grams with the Insta360 GO camera and the mount, 159 grams, guys. Not bad at all. Um, you can fly this one on ELRS. You can get it PNP and you can add your own receiver on there. And this one's cool to me because it has a little larger flying profile. Um, quads like this just generally tend to fly smoother. And if you want to do like some cool cinema videos and stuff like that with something small, size format factor is much smaller um, as far as running something like this or a five inch FPV race drone. This one is also a little bit quieter than this little guy. This thing sounds like a freaking Hornet. I was telling Rebecca yesterday that um, when I was flying in the backyard, I was wondering what some of the neighbors were thinking about me flying this back there because uh, this thing chirps and it, so it sounds like an angry, pissed off pack of bees, like, f you know, flying above people's houses. Um, and it, it is quite noisy, but it's really a pleasure to fly. Much better than the Flywoo Firefly Baby Nano, um, the 1S rig. But this also has shielding on the bottom of it, which I thought was super cool because that saved me when I slam dunked. Somehow I, I crashed in a five gallon bucket. What's the odds of me? like landing, crashing into a five gallon bucket. I almost couldn't do that on purpose. Um, so this one's still working, thank God, but 45 grams, 46 grams, uh, 44 grams for that camera. And again, by itself, we're looking at like 77 grams, but $79 for the original one with the 700 TVL camera. I mean, that camera kind of reminds me of like old school, like four years ago, FPV cameras, and it's a dirt cheap camera. So dudes, buy the 8 Pro, buy the 8 Pro. The, the Cadex Ant camera is way better, and you're paying 12 more bucks for that. Um, bind it up with your Light Radio 3 like I did, and you'll have a good time. Um, and, and the flight time's decent on these too. You can get like, you get a pretty good amount of flight time. The original one, if you wanna get the original one, if you want something super cheap, 69 bucks, like you can't beat it. Um, but it is a switchable VTX on this one as well, guys, for 200 milliwatt. And it is top mounted. It's kind of a hanging mount here, you can see. It's very similar to the other one, but this one is, is pumping some serious power on this one. The Tiny Ape runs all the way up to 600 milliwatt if you unlock it. It is defaulted to like 450 milliwatt, so, um, yeah, that's, that's one thing to, to think about here. Now, this one, um, it, it can't go probably quite as far as this little guy can it's when it comes to that type of VTX range. So if you're brand new, 600 is gonna go way further out, like three miles out versus like, um, uh, say, 200 milliwatt on this one. So 
um, a little bit further range, but you know, really then again, these are micros guys. We're not flying these things like miles out. These are just like backyard rippers. Um, you'll see guys like uh, Nick Burns just flying it in the backyard. And that's pretty much what these quads are. Um, and these are never gonna have any type of remote ID on them. They're not gonna have to be registered by the FAA and no one's gonna come knock on your door if you're flying something like this. It's, that's, you know, it's ridiculous. But I, I appreciate you guys watching my drone review videos. Um, if you want to support me on Patreon, that would be freaking killer because uh, I need some help. Um, and, and that would be awesome. And, and all you guys are super awesome. The guys that can't afford to help me, that's cool too. Um, I really appreciate you just subscribing and interacting on the channel because that, that's what it's all about. Drone Camp's FPV community, um, DC Army. We're, we're growing in numbers every day and we're giving away this dude back here back to one of you guys, one of you new guys coming up in the next 100,000 subscribers. So um, don't reply to a comment from some dude being like, hey, you won and I'm Justin Davis, you won this in the comments. It's never gonna happen in the comments, guys. Um, only by seeing me on a video, my face saying, hey, you won this dude, that's the way you're gonna win it. So um, yeah, that's, that's, the good, that's the good candy in the channel and I'm gonna keep updating the drone camp store too for new drones. I might even put these two guys in there. Should I do a giveaway of these two um, just for funsies or should we like put them up as a new NFT collectible um, or should I put it in the drone store for discount dollar drone? Like this should be a community driven democratic FPV clubhouse. Like let's do this all together. So um, in this video, still watching, make a comment down below of how you would like to see me either give away or sell or NFT or dollar drone or whatever. Um, it's all up to you guys. I wanna put it in your hands. So grab one of these at the link down below, guys, if you will. If you decide to buy one, please do use my link because it really does help me keep going. So uh, I pay the bills and feed my children with this channel and it's my full-time gig, at least for now. Um, times are hard, guys, I know for everybody, but I appreciate any support you can give me. Take care guys, and I'll see you on the next one.